welcome to our Biomass Boilers technology page. So thank you very much for clicking on the YouTube link to find out more information. In this video, we're going to talk to you a little bit about biomass boilers, how they're different to conventional boilers, some of the financial incentives out there uh, that will help with the installation cost, and finally, uh, when it is a good time or a bad time to consider having one installed in your property. Now, the main difference between a biomass boiler and a conventional boiler is, is, the, is the fuel source. So biomass boilers will take pellets and wooden logs, typically as a fuel source versus a conventional boiler which will take natural gas, oil or LPG. Now what are some of the, the costings? Now if you're looking to have one of these systems installed, typically the price will start around sort of the six to seven thousand pound pricing range. And if you're doing a, a more extensive heating project in your house, so for instance you're looking to install underfloor heating, uh, you're overhauling your radiator system, you're increasing the remit of your heating system for instance, um, you're looking for bigger buffer tanks so this is where they store the hot water all this will ratchet up the cost and it's un, you know it's it's quite typical uh, that the some of the the full installation costs will go into the tens of thousands of pounds now in, in terms of some of the financial benefits and uh, subsidies out there uh, the government have uh, launched the domestic RHI or the Renew Renewable Heat Incentive. Now what the Renewable Heat Incentive is, is essentially a subsidy that is paid over a seven year period every quarter, so you get that guaranteed payment and, and that will go some ways to offset some of that installation cost. It won't, it won't offset all of it, so i.e. that the subsidy is not as generous as it once was a few years ago when the scheme launched, but it will go a lot of the ways uh, to help uh, make that project more 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 realized now in terms of when it is a good or a bad idea to have a biomass boiler installed uh, obviously um, if you live in a much more rural property with with a lot more space um, so i.e um, you've got good access good access points so i.e you can have the vehicles that will deliver the fuel in and out of your property to feed your hopper so this is where uh, the pellets are stored uh, that feed your biomass boiler then it, it's, it's a great consideration now, if you you know live in a much more uh, urban property, so say centre of Glasgow or centre of Manchester, where it's hard for the vehicles to pull in and out, and it's just a lot more difficult to, to find a space to actually have it installed, then it's it's better to, to try and go for a much more conventional system. For more information about biomass boilers, um, please. Uh, feel free to read more of our technology pages and some of our more recent blogs but also follow the YouTube channel for more, for more updates about this technology. Thanks very much.